Okay, this is how I make I make multicolor decals using a registration mark and Adobe Illustrator. Alright, right now I have my design. It's completely vectored. It's in the proper colors that I want. Um, my preference is I make my own registration marks. I make them with a star tool. I like the little stars. So I'll just create a, a star here and use that as a registration mark. I'll change this to black. We need two of these. Let me pop up my ruler so I can make a line. Let's say right about there. Actually, let's bring it up a little bit. Let me go back to my pointer. I'll bring this up a little more and I'll that should be right about there I'll leave this about one inch or so from here to there you can zoom in on it a little bit about one inch from the edge I'll leave that there that looks about good I'll just I'll just control C and copy that come to the other side and we'll put another one approximately one inch from the right copy V to paste line it up with our line so it's connected and that's about another inch we'll zoom out a little bit and take a look get rid of that guideline okay and there's my two registration marks these are the only two marks I need for all one, two, three colors. So now we want to add these registration marks to the background. So we got to go to Object, Artboard, fit the artwork bounds. Okay, and there's the artwork bounds. So now the whole artwork piece is one. Okay, now we need to separate these three different colors in three different decals using the same regi reg registration marks this is so when I apply the decals later on I'll know where to line it up okay we'll start out by leaving the black we'll just highlight all this red and we'll just shift and highlight the and highlight those two colors. We'll actually delete this just for a second. Just long enough to save that file. And now we'll go to save as. We'll go into Love and Garlic and we'll save this as Love is Love and Garlic 10 by 10 and we'll write black on the back end so I know what color that is okay we'll save that okay we saved it now we're gonna hit control Z and bring up our other colors that we deleted prior okay now we saved black so let we wanna do let's say we're just gonna do the, the red part alright so we'll highlight all the black see I separated I grouped all the blacks black up I grouped all the red up if you don't know how to group it you just pick whatever you want to group you hit object and you can ungroup it see now when I click it that's not gonna pick up all the other black parts so basically I have to hit shift Shift, shift, shift. Hold, keep holding shift and then click them. Click them in the center to highlight all of it. All right, that's all the blacks again. And then you hit object group. Okay, so now when I switch any part of the black, it'll automatically pick up all of that one group that I just made. All right, well, we want to get rid of that and we want to get rid of red we did the black we didn't do the red yet now we want to save this color gold 
or yeah I call it gold or a mustard color but all right now we're gonna base delete that oh wait let's see oh we didn't get this piece in there so we want to delete that all right now this is gold but the reader is not the, the vinyl cutter is not gonna read in this color so I have to change this to black some colors the vinyl cutter will not read it reads black the best so I'm just I'm not gonna change anything here I'm just gonna leave it just like that and I'm gonna file save as I'm just gonna put gold because that's looks like gold to me and we're gonna hit save even though it's black but that's the color vinyl I'm gonna load into the vinyl cutter G gold so I know what color I need alright now we're just gonna control Z and bring it bring everything back and now we're gonna highlight the un the garlic and the black and we're gonna delete everything else but that and we're gonna leave these registration marks because we only need these two now everything's lined up with these registration marks so now when I cut the vinyl all this stuff is gonna line up perfectly so now I need to change this back to black and basically I can file save as red all right and that should be it that was a small tutorial on how I manage to make multicolored decal graphics in Adobe Photoshop Illustrator using regmarks thanks for watching